capital of Washington, D.C. has not escaped the fury of superstorm Sandy. Our U.S. Bureau Chief Simon Marks is there braving the elements. Simon, now that Sandy has become a post-tropical cyclone and made landfall, what does it mean for the people in its path? Can they let their guard down? Well, I don't think they can at all, Lin Lee. I tell you what, even though this may not any longer officially be a hurricane, we're seeing torrential rain, uh, as you can see here in Washington, D.C., and incredibly strong winds. Uh, minute by minute, uh, the winds just seem to get more and more intense as things move uh, forward here. We've seen quite a lot of police activity lately in this part of Washington, D.C. A lot of trees down here, a lot of roads being closed. That road right behind me, Connecticut Avenue, one of the main north-south arterial roads here in the city. There's very little traffic running up and down it tonight. Most people very sensibly staying indoors and staying at home, waiting to see just how much damage the storm does here. But in the last few minutes, we have learned that the storm has done uh, something quite remarkable up in New York City, uh, consigned most of the city uh, into darkness after a power cut hit lower Manhattan. And I'm joined on the line now uh, by New York resident Bob Bob Gelman, who lives at 28th uh, Street and Lexington Avenue. And Bob, I believe you saw the lights go out. Tell well, me uh, talking... exactly what happened and what's the situation there now. Okay, first of all, just so your, your listeners can know, I live about 10 blocks from the Empire State Building, right in the middle of Manhattan. And I was talking to my grandson uh, on my regular phone, my cell phone, uh, and my uh, suddenly everything went black. So I thought maybe it was only my own building. I looked outside. I have a view of a lot of Manhattan. Everything is black. There are a few little dots of light once in a Maybe some people have their own generators. But let me tell you something. There are more than 2 million people here in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut without power. And Manhattan finally has, has, has no power whatsoever. So, Bob, as you look out of the window right now, you are seeing a a city that is without power. I mean, absolutely as you say, that black. is millions of people now the, yeah. in the dark. It's absolutely black, except for one or two little pinpoints of light, where probably these are flashlights or lanterns or candles in people's windows. Other than that, it is black. That must be an incredibly eerie experience in New York City, a city of light most of the time. Well, this, uh, unfortunately, you know, there's, a, there's an amazing thing, and that is it's not raining that much here. The, the, whole, the whole thing has to do with the, the, with the hurricane or, the, or the, the storm, whatever you call it, and the gusts of wind are going up to like 150 and 120. I'm sitting in my apartment, and I have, I'm sitting near my window. It looks like a giant is, is pounding on my my air conditioner from the back. And uh, uh, unfortunately, the places that are near the water, it's a perfect storm. It's high tide, there are hurricane winds, and there's a lunar aspect of it because there's a full moon. So uh, they have a, they have evacuated, uh, as, as Simon Marks just said, a lot of the areas around the, uh, around the water, especially down near where the Statue of Liberty can be seen where the ferry boats go around. It is, I've never seen something, I've lived here for 50 years, I've never seen anything like this at all. And Bob, with no power in so much of the city, are there any security concerns among residents? Because presumably alarm systems aren't working. Uh, presumably this is a pretty dangerous time for New York City. Well, in the la a lot of people are very stubborn, and in the outlying areas, they did not want to leave their homes because on the last tropical storm, was that, uh, I forgot the lady's name, was that Estelle? What was the last one? Uh, Irene. 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 Dur during Irene, a lot of people left their homes, and when they got back home, they found that.